And in international news, Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou on Saturday said he will implement further austerity measures to tackle Greece's debt crisis whether he has the opposition party's backing or not. Only one opposition leader showed willingness to support Papandreou's during a meeting of the five main parties last Friday to discuss the debt crisis. It was the second attempt in a week by Papandreou to bring all opposition parties on board as the government pushes to implement more cost-cutting measures to reduce its debt. Meanwhile, verbal support for Greece helped calm investors. We are supporting a, an economic program developed by the Greek authorities that does not contemplate debt restructuring. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden hailed the re recovery of the country's auto industry, turning White House attention back to the domestic priority of job creation after a week devoted to foreign policy. In the weekly White House radio and internet address, Biden said that the U.S. auto industry is rising again. Manufacturing is coming back as the economy is recovering and gaining traction. This comes after Chrysler Group on Tuesday paid back $7.6 billion in U.S. and Canadian government loans from its 2009 bailout. And rival General Motors, which filed for bankruptcy in 2009 but soon emerged thanks to a $52 billion U.S. taxpayer-funded bailout, now posts profits that are beating expectations. Haryana's chief minister, Singh Huda, said the land acquisition bill should be formulated in favor of farmers. Addressing a summit in New Delhi, Huda said the farmers' future needs to be secured if they give up their land for government projects. Farmers of India's northern state Uttar Pradesh had been wanting higher compensation for their land that was acquired by the state government to build a highway. Meanwhile, Huda praised the Haryan government's compensation model for farmers. That's the latest in international business, but before we go, let's take a quick look at the Asian equity markets from the, last, from the past week, then at the price of oil, followed by metals and a selection of currencies. And after that, Laura Buckwell is back with the news.